Hey, this is Victor again with the Stores Online software here. Today I want to show you something very simple but yet very important when it comes to a layout or template for your website. So let's go ahead and log in as usual. Click on that login button. And I've set up a blank site. This, In other words, this is a startup site has nothing on there. And I wanted to show you how I would start from scratch if I were building a site. But let's start with the basics. Now again, as you can see, nothing's happening here with orders or incomplete orders because it's a very brand new site and what I want to do is go straight to this little tab right here that says site so let me go ahead and zoom in on that just want to make sure you guys are with me right there where it says site I'm going to zoom in on that let me zoom right back out and I'm going to go ahead and click on that now this panel right here basically controls what your site's going to look like and so what I want to draw your attention to is this individual thing right here this allows you to select different layouts for your website. Let me zoom out again because I want you to be able to see something here real quickly. If I click on this little three bubble button here, it'll show me the different templates that are available with the software. And basically, I can change at will, and I'm going to show you how to do this, the design and layout of the actual software. Let me click that again for some reason. It didn't bring it up and there are the layouts right there so they have different names like Austin, Auto Magic, Big Sky and you can see these are all different sample templates that you can choose from now the great thing about the software is not only can you choose the template you can also change the colors but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's just stick with the basic choosing of a template so let me click done and get out of here right now the design that select this Odyssey I've uploaded a header graphic a banner for the web page and let's not worry about putting a name or a byline. Let's just kind of see how the website looks as is. So I click on preview and there's the actual site design. There's the layout. Now notice it's a little gray right here. I'm losing a little gray, a little orange. And again, you the user can modify these colors. But let's say I don't like that. Let's go back over here, over down by the right hand side. And let's click on that done button and get out of here. Well, what I can do is I can choose from one of these templates, or if I'm familiar with some of these, I could probably find one I maybe like real quick. Chicago, Cologne, default. Let me scroll down till I find something I like. Um, Naples has a nice sound to it. Well, let's click Naples. I click on Naples. I select that design, and immediately, now the new design is Naples, and the whole site has been redesigned that fast. Now let's go ahead and preview that. Let's see what it looks like. So I click on that, and all of a sudden we now have a new layout for the website. So let's say you're looking at that layout, and you go, you know, that's just not the layout I'm looking for. Well, that's okay. Let's go back over to Done, and let's go look at some other templates until you find one that you like. Let me see. We scroll down to Naples. Let's see what we got here. Naples. Uh, let's see. Monaco, Nautilus. These all sound nice. How about Nile? Nile has a sound. Nice name to it. Nice little ring to it. I'll select that. And voila, the design has changed again. Notice that Nile is, is uh, selected right here. And by the way, you can actually use the pull down menu right there as well. Well, now let's see what that looks like. And all of a sudden, you go, okay, this looks a little better. This is kind of to my liking. I said, you know, this is the design template that I want to select. <clears throat> my point in showing you this is that this is how fast you're able to change a design template with this software. For those of you who have been programmers and understand programming like HTML, to do what I've just done in such a short period of time would be impossible. Sometimes it would take days, if not a week, to actually change the layout. With a couple of clicks, you can actually do that with this software. That's what makes it powerful. And again, if I were to come over here to Scheme, now that I've selected my design, so in other words, once I've selected my design as Nile, what I want to do is maybe I don't like the color scheme. So what I'll do is come over here to the right where it says Scheme. And now, as you can see, right here, I can actually change any of these colors. I can change the background color, the complements, the accents, the color of the text, and if I have a link, I can change that. Now, how do you do that? Simple. You just click on this little bubble here, and all of a sudden, you got a color picker. So basically, if you drag your mouse to whatever you want, you can actually select that actual color. So if you don't like that orange, maybe you want a green, you say, okay, let's go with green. 
next thing you know, all your links from this point on will be green. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks a little ugly to me, so let me just reset the back to the way it is, because I kind of like the orange and gray look. Those are kind of my colors I go with. And then you'll notice it went right back to orange. Again, you can change the color of the heading, the titles, logos, and so far. On this side, you'll have all the different defaults, but again, they're all flexible. You can make them lighter, darker, and for example, if you have a link right here, and let's say you want to come right here and you say, okay, there's the link. It's gray. Uh, maybe I just want to give it a darker hue or maybe a lighter hue or just go with a standard default. Again, you have the control. Uh, if you look over here, you can control the size of the font. So again, scanning over, I look at my text. I realize that I just want to go with your basic text. I also have 14 point in terms of size. And then the font I'm using is Verdana. If I don't like Verdana, I can change it to whatever I like. And we have several options there. So you get the idea. The point is that when it comes to designing the website, looking at the design, looking at the design, the internet's a little slow, looking at the design, you're in control as far as how the layout is going to look for your website with just one or two clicks. In other words, you can change your layout with a couple of clicks. And once you've selected a layout, the next thing you want to do is go over to the scheme and actually choose your color scheme, which is what we just did. So hopefully that's a nice introduction in terms of how do I change the template and how do I get the colors I want that maybe match with the branding colors of my company name. So I hope that helped. We'll talk to you later. Bye.